Hi, Gwen. Hello. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Hi. Good. Oh, there's a little bit of a delay. Okay. But I'm sure it's the full moon energy <laughs> that's coming our way next week. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. As soon as, we, as soon as we're together to do this, the energy kicks in and there you go. So what I'll do, because you're going first, yes. <laughs> I'll I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. That's brilliant, Ali. <laughs> I think my answer to that is we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me okay right so yes we are entering full moon energy next week um in virgo so lots of things maybe around um your health and um um maybe some um unresolved disputes that you need to stick your heels in and and go with that's what i got uh when I was channeling the energy the other day. Um, the other thing um, with this new moon, I think last time, you know, we, we said that the new moon was all about big dreams. Mm. I've got a feeling that this full moon is going to be about the big steps that need to be taken. So uh, that's what I've got uh, thinking about this full moon. So what we shall see is what the cards say. I'm using my um, nature whispers today. Love that. So they're very expressive cards and uh, so I'm going to just give them a good shuffle and put my eyes on. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know about you Annie but um, the energy this week has been um, sort of up and down hasn't it? It certainly has been strange. <laughs> That's the word. That's the word. Yeah. And we're used to weird. So for it to be strange. That's is right. weird. Yeah. I'm happy with weird, definitely. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so what have I got? I pulled um six of the cards for some reason. That's fine. Um the first one, um, obviously, you know, things that are influencing you at the moment, it and uh, again. Um, very, very much to do with the energy. Um, this one is um, uh, a lovely couple embraced with the swan. And this is all about opening your heart up to your own desires. Um, and, you know, I just feel with that card, there's a lot of energy in the being bound by um, that feeling of love as well. Um, so feeling love around you will help you open your heart. And I, I don't mean that from a relationship or anything. I mean, um, you know, a walk in nature can give you that, can't it? Mm. You know, that feeling of love and, um, and belonging. Um, and um, there's a beautiful lily as well. And the lilies, um, for me, always mean um, uh, calmness and um, that self-love. And, you know, because lilies, lilies are often um, the flower for sort of um, death or, or they're given um, in um, when you do flowers for a funeral. But I feel the significance of those lilies in those sort of sprays is that it's showing how much you love that person, you know. And this is a lovely pink lily as well. So that's wonderful. Okay, there's a full moon in the background. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, right, we'll hold on to that one. So that's about opening your heart. Um, as you're opening your heart, we have um, a lovely little tree nymph here um, and very much, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, again, the, the, um, the, the, the love with nature has come out in that card as well. Um, but this is about, you know, um, you open your heart, um, but you've got to realize you've got to catch your breath first. Mm. Don't open it just to anybody or anything. Mm. Make sure you're thinking about what you're going to open your heart to. 
And as I said before, you know, the big dreams, you know, this full moon's leading us into, you know, these big steps we need to take. So it is about, you know, taking that um, deep breath um, and prepare yourself to move forward. <laughs> oh, I love this card. Okay. So here we've got um, a lot of what I would call the, the mythological um, or ancient creatures you know we've, we've got the ammonites we've got the unicorns um and uh we've got um the uh the dolphin there representing um you know the peacefulness of, of the seas and but it's the differences i feel this is about um recognizing differences and it's funny that this card should come up because this week i have um, been working a lot with people who think they are different and are not knowing how they, they can fit in with things. Um, and, um, you know, the advice that I've been giving them is all about just go from the heart. So, yeah. And so I think this card um, uh, is about celebrating, because, you know, celebrating differences. There's a lovely rainbow card, uh, yeah. lovely rainbow energy right in the middle there, you know. So yeah. it is about celebrating people's differences as well. Definitely. I'll come back to that one as well. Okay, right. And again, um, here we've, there's a lot of water signs um, in these last two cards because there we've got the seahorse. Oh, lovely. Again, a lovely nymph with her rainbow hair. Mm. And on that card, you can see that, you know, she's half in the water and half out of the water. And um, my hair goes into it like a tree. Um, and it's it's about that deep emotion that you hold, but always being your true self mm -hmm. and um and be and be your best all the time. Because mm -hmm. what is inside your heart is the true you. Mm -hmm. And this true you is the one that knows what you are capable of moving forward with mm -hmm. um, and what you don't want anymore. Yeah, it's that getting rid, getting rid as well. And um, yeah, lovely angel fish in here as well. <laughs> um, right, so I think those four cards are quite pertinent in, in talking about self, you know, about opening your heart, um, taking that deep breath to move yourself forward, celebrating your differences and, and anybody else's differences and always being the best person who you feel you are inside. Um, I feel by doing this over the next month, there is this lovely card here, which has, um, sorry, she's up there. You see her reaching yeah, out can, yeah. and look at the butterfly. So transformation, but I feel that's more like she's breaking through. She's coming forward. She's taking, look at her feet. She's taking that, big leap forward uh -huh. yeah so i think that card is confirmation of of feeling the true you and moving yourself forward it's a big step that needs to be taken um but be, but you're ready for it you know people are ready for for this big step mm. and when they do they will feel this transformation mm. definitely mm. and uh again back out in mother nature we've got um Mother Nature herself there, I feel, with yeah. um, Earth on her. And the dandelion, um, I, I mean, as a kid, we always used to call them fairies anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. and up here, you know, one of the dandelion spores is breaking free. And again, that's like the last card, it's like breaking free. And, um, you know, you make a wish, don't you, with a dandelion? Yeah. So you know, I just feel, you know, you know, looking after yourself and moving yourself forward will make your wish come true. That big dream we talked about for the new moon, mm -hmm. you know, um, it, it's time to do it. It's time to take that big step forward. Definitely. Yeah. I'm just going to check the others again. Um, yeah, that 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 difference is the rainbow feel is in every single card bar one. So um, and the butterflies are in three of the cards. So yeah, I think this is going to be a time um, of um, transformation for people. Mm -hmm. You know, that big wish that you're wanting for under the new moon, 
take that great step forward and you will feel that breakthrough you know love yourself and others will will come and everything else will come to you the universe will provide that's what i've got there yeah um the thing that's come out of here as well when you're talking about the inner self um it's about looking after your physical health as well so you know you, you shine your light within but it's making sure you look after yourself as that vessel. Mm -hmm. So again, um, because in the full moon's in Virgo, again, thinking about your health as well, mm -hmm. making sure you're looking after your body mm -hmm. um, so that your heart can express what it needs to express. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. yes. Uh, interesting, a couple of things. I can hear in my head that Queen song, Breakthrough. Uh, yeah. That definitely feels like the energy that's around in this full moon um, yes we used I, to wish, I wish to break free <laughs> <laughs> yeah we definitely want to break free and um, we used to call the uh, dandelions clocks uh, mm. where i grew up and you blew on them to see what time it was i know that sounds a bit weird but but no i remember um, it yeah you know it's that sense of the seeds being planted they're drifting off to be planted it's the right time uh, yes you know it's the it's the time we're in it's it's absolutely uh, the perfect time and that emotional oomph because we do when we're having to take a kind of leap of faith we do have lots of emotional stuff going on but we've got to gather the oomph to take the step so lovely cards, yeah. beautiful cards. Funnily enough, they were beautiful. I, I picked six as well. Okay. Oh. So I'm right. using my Blue Angel Oracle because I love that. And I'm also using lovely. three wisdom cards. They shouted at me again. They've been on the shelf and they said, right, we're coming out. They're lovely. Yeah. So I've got three of each and I'm just going to read them sort of in pairs because I felt like they were paired together somehow so the first one is the angel of hearts there she is oh beautiful. the angel of hearts and mm. she's got rainbows in her gown if you look closely um, I don't know if you can oh, see yeah. it. she's got rainbows yes. in her gown um, and this card I'm when it comes that. out yeah, um, interestingly, for me, those are the Ukrainian colours around her oh, head. Yes, Anne. And we've got the, yes. red, the Russian colours, interestingly. So mm. I'm going to await developments on that because when this card comes out, it's all about truth. And I do feel like this full moon energy mm -hmm. is acknowledging your truth. Okay, we, we all think we know what the truth is but actually we often make assumptions we don't grab at the facts are you with me and i think yes. it's a, a process when we're getting ready to transform that we have to recognize the truth within us that we're, we're ready to transform mm -hmm. we've got to go back into our heart and ask in what direction are we going forward um it's no good yeah. trying to take a big jump into something <clears throat> when our heart isn't in it yes. so the angel of hearts is here to try and guide us to be true to ourselves um, and I feel like this beautiful slightly analytical Virgo moon <laughs> is oh, yes. oh, calling yes. on us <laughs> not, not, you know, they're going, not always analytical quite <laughs> um, but calling on us to recognize what is our inner truth recognize where we need to uh I, I won't say reality check that's why I love Virgo energy because it's almost like a reality check so long as you don't get into the overthinking and I feel like the full moon for the next couple of weeks is actually saying take a reality check are you following yeah. your heart? Is your heart yes. doing the work of taking you forward? Um, or are you getting in your own way? Are you mm -hmm. maybe not transforming in the best way you can 
because you're not following your heart. And she came with the lovely baobab tree. Now we've had her before. No, I'm fine for the new moon. Yeah, we've had her before. Yeah. And she is oneness. She represents oneness. Um, what's special about this oneness is that it involves you taking responsibility for your own life and health. Mm -hmm. And that it's the positive thing to do. And yes. we can't succeed if we don't accept that inner responsibility. Yes. If we don't ex accept that it's our heart that's got to guide us. So when when this card comes out, it's an encouragement to um, tune into like the collective conscious and say, am I contributing um, what is right for me? You know, I, my work on growing conscious unity. Mm -hmm. uh, and interestingly, we're doing a retreat just as we're coming into a new moon. Yeah. So there's that sense of, are we checking in that we're not just the inner heading in the right direction, but are we checking in as humanity that we're heading in the right direction? And that would make sense of the Ukraine-Russia situation. Are, are, yes, you know, it would. Are, we, are we checking that we're going in the right direction? And mm -hmm. what uh, the Baobab tree encourages us to do is extend compassion through action. celebrate differences. Yeah, mm. it's taking actions that respect that we're in a new cycle of evolution. Um, Absolutely. so no surprise that those two have have come out together. Um, the next one is this beautiful card. I hope you can see her clearly. Oh yes, and it's Maitreya. Mm -hmm. And she represents the wisdom of the ages. Pull her back there, you yeah. might see it. Too. Oh, yes. Yeah. And yeah. Um, if we're going to come from the heart, one of the things we have to recognize is that internal wisdom. Right. And also recognize our spirit wisdom because our spirit is eternal. It has been around as a human many times. Yeah. And that there is wisdom to be gained here. If, uh, if we ask our higher self, if we use that lovely Virgo analysis to say, well, how many times have I done this particular thing? <laughs> how many right. lives have I been doing it over? Is it yeah. time for me to stop doing this? <laughs> <laughs> and just speaking because um it's it's quite it's water as well she always represents water to me it's like yeah she's watery. yeah um, there's definitely emotion in that card yeah. yeah and and i think that's really important is to um allow that that beautiful flow of emotion and maybe the recognition somewhere in in our heart oh yeah I've tried this pattern 15 previous lives and it's still not working for me <laughs> perhaps I need to try something new <laughs> and that can also then encourage us to take that step forward and help us yes. in that process of moving and transforming now yeah. it comes with a, a really interesting card this is the linden tree right and the linden tree is all about relationships. Yeah, it's a lovely face in the tree. Yeah, yeah, lots of faces. Mm -hmm. Some of them are not very happy. And, no. Um, again, I think Virgo sometimes, because Libra for, follows on, and it's all about Venus in Libra um, and love, uh, I often find that Virgo energy gets us thinking about uh, and analyzing how are we doing in in relation to each other okay. yes so this comes back to the angel of the heart because sometimes we find it difficult to give and receive love sometimes yes. it's because of the past and painful experiences sometimes it's because we're expecting more pain 
-hmm. when it's not really there uh to it's not going to affect us and and so we block ourselves from the big steps um mm -hmm. because we are expecting it all to go wrong of course so um what the I'm linden, critic <laughs> yeah what the linden tree is encouraging us to do is to try to reach out and make those connections yeah uh, uh, make it a softer flow of communication between you and others um yeah. as you know i always talk about the guide contract but i'm very convinced we should have contracts for all of our relationships mm -hmm. <laughs> bit of golden cooper in there somewhere um, you know uh, we would do better if we um analyzed and then gave and, and took appropriately so interesting that that tree has come in with the wisdom of the ages because humanity is all about relationships. Mm, uh, everything else on one side and yeah. what we're here doing is experiencing love and the absence of love. And we do that through relating to each other. So I feel like the next couple of weeks, uh, people might find that, that the relationships they have, not just with themselves, but with everybody, come under the spotlight with that sort of question take a look at this is are you giving enough probably are you receiving enough probably not so trying to achieve that balance again yeah uh and and really good because in the waning moon you can let go of the pain or the fear of the pain yeah. uh and so it's a good time to be looking at relationships and going hmm <laughs> And applying a bit of wisdom. Absolutely. So, uh, last two. <laughs> I love this card. This is called the Ancient of Days. Oh. And it's the Eternal Flame. That's a bit better. You can see a bit better. Oh, one. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, Beautiful. It looks like a coronet. It is. It's a, or a crown. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, when I get this card, I always think about um, the spark within us, the spirit within. Yeah. Are we honouring the spirit within? Because obviously we've got to take big steps. We've got to be on board with what the spirit within is encouraging us to do. And um, it's like a crown of achievements. If we can manage to get through this life and leave a legacy because crowns are often left to the next successor that's, can that's leave right. a legacy, then we've done our bit so to speak so i also feel that this um full moon is building the steps in for the legacy you know our dream is uh is a legacy Yes. It becomes the legacy. Uh, you and I were discussing um, last night about uh, RuPaul Charles, mm. uh, who um, uh, the legacy that's been put in place about embracing diversity and yes. about embracing the idea that everyone should live as they are. Everyone mm -hmm. should live who they feel they are inside. Mm. Phenomenal legacy. Um, you don't get that without taking those big steps. No. You don't get that without a lot of love in your heart and a, and the kind of desire to um, show the, the in, eternal nature of humanity that we've got to stop being short-term thinkers. Are you with me? Yes. So I, I feel like with this crown of achievements, um, that's where our dreams will lead us if, mm. if we recognise all these other things that are going on in this full moon. And mm. it's paired with the orc. Oh, goodness, the tree Look of wisdom. That. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stunning energy. Absolutely. Um, beautiful. I, I always feel like the red is a rose at the bottom, but heart again, you know, root. Oh. Definitely, Root chakra, yeah. who I am, being yeah. standing steady. And the orc represents courage. Yeah. And this is what we're going to have to have. If we're going to make these leaps forward as a, a human race and individually, 
we're going to have to have courage. We're going to have to say, right, I'm going to transform whatever it takes. I'm going Mm -hmm. to follow my heart. Um, It takes courage to manifest your dreams, for sure. And to take the actions, those big steps that get you going forward. So it's a, a... Orc is representing the stability. Solid, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But recognising the flexibility of growing. You know, there's this incredible strong trunk, but but there's this beautiful growing area that's that's going off in all directions. You know, that's the beauty of the orc, (laughs) that steadiness, but that vibrancy of growth. So yeah. again, I just feel like we're being called to recognize in this full moon energy. Um, it's gonna take courage. Oh yes. It's gonna take courage over a long period of time, perhaps. Um, but if we've got that courage, then we'll get there and we'll handle mm. anything and everything. Um mm. so that we can complete the transformation. We won't fall short. I think no. sometimes as human beings because we don't see it as an eternal progress we we kind of perhaps get halfway through our life and think oh i haven't done this i haven't done that i haven't achieved this i haven't achieved that and feel like we've fallen short in some way yeah Yeah. but if we can love ourselves through that and recognize that we're building you know wisdom of the ages not not this brief quick flip through here um we can get it done well from little acorns big oak trees grow absolutely so (laughs) i think those beautiful cards sounds like an exciting full moon doesn't it yes i am quite looking forward to this as as i was the new moon as well the new moon certainly um what's the nice way of putting it kicked me up the backside (laughs) are you with me (laughs) and um and now I've just got to get on with it. And I think basically that's what these two moons in March have represented, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. On the heart. Recognising it, differences. Recognising, yeah, your inner self. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it's always fabulous to do these cards. Um, mm-hmm. it, it just uh, inspires me. It makes me feel like, yes, I know where I'm going. Um, so, yeah. Um, so thank you very much. No, thank you, Annie. It's been uh, great yet again. Again, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we managed, I didn't say very much, have you noticed? And, and, and the internet behaved itself in the end. Because yeah. <laughs> we didn't give up. We believed in it. <laughs> we had courage. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we are um, back for the new moon. Yes. Yes. Um, have a lovely couple of weeks soaking up this dried forward. Uh, yeah. And um, we'll chat again soon. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Annie. It's been you, great. You take care, Bye. darling. Bye. 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 Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>